Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another Gloomhaven video. We are playing through a uh, Guildmaster mode. We unlocked quite a few classes already, but with the scenarios we are uh, lacking a bit behind. Uh, we had a couple of tries on one of the scenarios with a lot of shielded enemies, then uh, things started going well again. Then we did the job, then we tried another scenario, but uh, it was pretty easy, then a, then a job. And well, right now, we did one try on this Under Siege here. Then uh, we didn't manage it because uh, things didn't really go our way. Then we did a job, we figured out how the jobs are uh, working. And well, uh, jobs, uh, we always have three of them as far as I understand you always unlock some design and it's usually a copy of the design you already have so if you really want some design really bad then uh, you can take it you're gonna get an extra copy of it and that's really cool because um, uh, you have a lot of mercenaries so if you want to switch them around it would be quite costly to move all these items between them <coughs> uh, what else uh, yeah first try on under siege uh, we didn't manage to do we had way too many enemies spawning not killing them fast enough and not closing our fort that you usually make fast enough uh story quests we still cannot do any of them because we need to unlock more things probably this uh, under siege here uh well, we have six completed quests these are the scenario with it uh oh well we can actually redo them. One second. Uh, no further rewards available. But I guess we can redo them if we want to. Uh, also one relic quest. Oh, there was this relic. Okay. So uh, our game plan right now is we do uh, one scenario, then we do one job. One scenario, we do one job. Well, one scenario, I mean one scenario try. So each time we fail a scenario, we uh, do a job and then we try it again. So this will be our second try on Under Siege. We have a car new card on our Suit Singer here, so check it out. Uh, items, I don't know, we picked up a Minor Stamina Potion. Okay. Suiting Lullaby. All Halais may perform a heal one self action at the beginning of each of their turns. And then on the bottom half, heal free range 4 and 1, okay. And the other one, a change tempo, immobilize, target all enemies within range 3 and move 5. Hmm. Well, both of these are kind of interesting. This is a really fast song which uh, helps a lot if enemies are poisoning you a lot. And this change tempo here is pretty cool uh, if you have like uh, melee enemies which you want to immobilize to, to reposition. <clears throat> However, this uh, change tempo, mm, uh, I feel like uh, needing to immobilize all enemies is not really such a necessity. Move 5 is nice though, I guess. Uh, I feel like more um, if I need to immobilize or stun I'll just do it on one or two enemies and then I'll build a fort and then things will well basically we can we can prevent enemies from reaching us with a fort rather than using s too many immobilizers while this this can be super useful if enemies have poison uh, this really helps us to be able to do what we need so because the biggest problem with poison is that you cannot really heal yourself. The heal just removes the poison and then the enemies put it back. You lose a lot of action trying to go around that. So if we, if you sink this, when you start your turn, if you're poisoned, you just remove the poison and that's amazing. And then you can heal yourself if you want. But let's see what we can drop for that. <clears throat> I like curses, I like uh, these arms. So 
so I'm trying to figure out uh, how do we play this. I probably want to uh, sing a song of um, where is it? This one, wistful wounding, and I want to wound as many enemies as I can on the start, and then we can switch to something like maybe song of speed or soothing lullaby. And this is for um, no, not song of speed. This one, power ballad. Plus one attack to one of their attacks, and this uh, is only one single attack, it's not a whole attack action, so that was uh, confusing me a bit, but so yeah, it's not bugged as I thought, it's uh, everything's fine, so apologies to the game and creators for jumping a gun there. Mm. Strength on the bottom is really cool though. This prevents uh, one whole attack from the enemies, so it's really nice also. Or maybe we don't need a song of speed. Although plus one range, eh, well, I don't want to replace my plus one attack or a wound with, with range. So, yeah, I'll probably drop this one in favor of putting this on to help heal if we need to and yeah I think we're gonna give it another go uh, one second um, so here uh, a lot of interesting things here well this one seems cool but I don't know how often we'll do damage we usually don't do damage. Well, do we have some mass damage card? Well, not really. <laughs> now we got this one and this one. Yeah, we are not really somebody who does damage. So, does it even matter which perk we take? Now yeah, let's take this, I guess. I don't know why this is still there. Oh, we got a new item, that's why. Tremor Blade. During a melee attack, to add plus two attack to a single attack. Okay, so this is only a single attack, not a whole attack action. So it's not super good, but I don't know. But we have a Bite and Net. Well, you don't have anything. To the entire attack action. Well, that's interesting. But um, let's see. We could put a head item on someone. That would give us another perk, I think, on our quartermaster. If we put a hat, it will complete an achievement, but... Wait, we do have a level 3. Yeah, these two are level 3. We can get another small item, so we could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Um...
Well, I'll take some minor uh, power potions for extra damage here. Because that's what we were lacking the most. Oh, we already have one on our brutes. Okay. So we don't have to bind it. So now we have one extra, I guess. Okay, we're still level 2, so enemies will be at level 4. Well, let's give it a try, I guess. We could do an enchantment, I guess, also. Let's see. We have one slot on each of our characters for enchantment. We have a plus attack. Uh, okay. What I'm wondering is, let's see. If I can make my unstable upheaval stronger? Well, we can. Well, no wait. This one. Mm. Also, I'm wondering about the Dirt Tornado. Oh, we can increase the attack of Dirt Tornado. Well, that could be nice, I think. We do use this a lot. <laughs> this is doing a model anyway, so this is pointless. Um, also, once we unlock the jump, we'll be able to put jump on our abilities. It would be nice to have like a jump on uh, ability like this, for example. Well, this one is only 50 gold for plus attack because it's not uh, AoE. This one is AoE, so it's much more expensive. But yeah, right now we have just some basic stuff, like increases the area of effect. Well, this is not, this is not bad. But only one enhancement per character right now. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Increasing an area of curse or the disarm seems like a good idea. Also, I would like a jump on one of my abilities here. So we don't have to... Uh, Use the flying boots, which we don't even have. Yeah, <laughs> let's get one enchantment. Yeah, let's get one enchantment. Um. Well, what do we need to unlock the, the multiple targets one? I think that's actually a bit better. Oh, we also have some extra stuff here. Uh, the suit here reaches level 2. Okay, let's see its quest. The suit singer asked my advice on places she could go to get inspiration for a few new songs. And I suggested visiting one of the less bloodthirsty bandit gangs. There is a group up near Gibbet Hill who might be able to help out. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, we unlocked a new class. Okay. Your intelligent use of traps has brought the Doomstalker to our guild. He is now available to add via the character menu. Okay. The Quake Heart consumes 40 Earth Elements. Okay, we get another perk on our Quakey boy. Uh, let's see. Okay, our deck is pretty nice and thin already. Oh, let's go with one more of these. So now it's like zero or better most of the time. Cool. And we can actually do this one. So we can gain a perk point by doing this. Uh, well, 
let's do let's do a scenario first and let's uh, just quickly check out our new class here doomstalker health pretty low ability cards 12 that's nice i guess difficulty medium a uh, role ranged damage dealer Orchid Doomstalkers are tasked with keeping various Orchid settlements safe in the wilds around Gloomhaven. The calm mind of the Orchid makes the Doomstalker an excellent bow hunter. He never misses a shot. Strength, high range damage. Doom abilities allow wide array of secondary effects. Decent array of summons. Weaknesses. Generally wants to focus on one enemy at a time. Using Doom often involves no movement. Every visit to Gloomhaven ends up with some poor merchant getting doomed over the price of an item. Okay, okay. Let's see, abilities. Rain of Arrows. Okay. Doom an enemy at plus attack to all your enemies against this one. Okay. So Doom is similar to the mechanic we already know. where we basically augment our abilities by by playing a doom and having it active it's like a persistent effect which is not getting burned this enemy's attack move and range okay reduced when the enemy dies move to the hex in which it died all right all right also, already two summons. When enemy dies, perform a heal cell. The enemy suffers two damage at the start of each of its turns. Well, that's interesting. Race to the grave. You doom it, and then it just starts bleeding out. Multi prolonged, multi pronged assault. All allies add plus one attack till their attacks attack to this enemy. Okay. Attack four, range two, target two. Oh, okay. Detonation. A trap. Okay. Okay, enemies explode, right? Okay, next three times transfer the doom. Okay, when this enemy dies, force all enemies. All right. Okay, solid bow. Ooh, nice range on this one. Heal to self. Plus two attack again one experience with target is doomed. So four four. Oh well. So if we want to take down an archer in the mission we are struggling with a bit right now. We could do this. Four four. If they are doomed, plus there is a doom which adds plus two. I think. Yeah. So six. Would be pretty easy to take down enemies if we doom them with this. Sap life. Each time enemy suffers damage, perform a heal to self action. Okay. Retality 3, retality range 4. Huh. Also pretty good. Vicious Jackal. All summoned allies and add plus 2 attack to all their attacks targeting this enemy. Of summoned okay and fresh kill attack to range 4 at plus 2 attack and gain 1 experience if the target is undamaged well it's interesting it's a nice ranged class it does have a lot of summons and let's see one ranged attack two ranged attacks three ranged attacks Four, five, but quite a lot of summons also, I don't know. Well, right now we want to, <coughs> sorry, we want to keep the same party and try to do this. Just executing tactics a little bit better and then maybe we look at the Doomstalker in the next video. The starting cards are quite interesting though, so... Call me intrigued. Oh yeah, I wanted to check out actually. <laughs> I 
I wanted to check out the enchantments here. What do I need to unlock targeting enhancement? To add targets to uh, elements strengthen. Well, I want this one also. There is none, so we can do it then. No, I don't see it. We can't add extra targets. Okay, we can. But only if it already has targets. Right. Um. So let's say. No. Well, I can increase range on abilities also. Stun shot. Okay. I think there's a stun which stuns two people and then you can increase one target. I know I used it on somebody. Uh, let's see what uh, else can we unlock. Is there any other class? Kill 12 different types of enemies. Well, there's a class here. Have 10 mercenaries killed by enemies. Well, there's a class here. Inflict poison class there as well. Infuse darkness 30 times. Oh, it's gonna be a bit hard. Infuse light, alright. Use 30 control abilities. Oh, this is like control the enemy to do that and that. Yeah, quite a few more to unlock. So I guess story quests are these uh, games, uh, instead of gaining perks through battle goals, you get it to the story quests, I guess. Uh, but yeah, let's go. I'll focus a bit more on unlocking new classes once I play the one I already have uh, a bit more because already I'm not really playing them. So. Onwards and forwards, under siege, bandits have taken the main bridge into Nasitra, break into their hideout in the crypts below the bridge and break the siege. Right, they are starting disarmed, but then the next turn they are starting hitting pretty hard. Encounter. You hear... Oh, interesting. You hear the clashes and clanks of what sounds like a fight taking place up ahead. As you draw near, you see a Savas and an Inox locked in a fierce duel. They both notice your arrival and call to you for aid, so we can help the Savas. We can help the Inox. Well, we cannot because the Savas will not side against their kin. So we have um, Crackheart, which is Savas in the party, and he does not want to help the Inox, but we can help the Savas. Attempt to break up the fight without killing either, ignore them, and carry on walking. Well, let's be a bit racist here, maybe? Yeah, this sounds like a recipe for disaster. Uh, Savas and Inox are quite big, we might get damaged. So let's help one of them. You side with the Savas and the Inox flees seeing as he is outnumbered. The Savas thanks you for your assistance but apologizes for not having anything tangible to give you as thanks. Before, before you part waves however, the four power cores in his chest glow brightly as he offers you elemental aid for your next encounter, infusing the four elements he has attained mastery over for you. Well, good. so we got some elements, that can't be bad, right? At distance you can see the torchlight from the city of Nasitra, but the main bridge is in darkness, it would be foolhardy to assault the bridge from above. So you scout out an unused entrance at the base of one of the main supports. You quietly enter a passageway and head upwards, knowing you should get a drop on whoever you find inside. Okay, 
Uh, well, let's go with loot no gold piles. Yeah. Well, this is more. Uh, I don't think this is doable. This is quite a hard one, actually. So. So every turn, three enemies are spawning, and we don't really have the the means to kill three enemies per turn. So we just focus on the archers and try to stay alive long enough until we see, kill 16 of them and hopefully also the place gets super crowded with the melee dudes so the archers cannot get in range it will be a bit insane actually there will be like i think 30 enemies on the screen once this uh, once we are uh, getting close to finishing this one Also hope the, the bandit guards don't draw the the damage ability too often. Okay, here we go. Well, that's quite a different setup than the last time. Let's see, one of them spawns here, one here, here. A lot a lot lower number of the obstacles. But we do have some traps, so they will not go over these two unless they really have to. So we just need to close this here and this here, and we should be good to go. Looks like you've taken this detachment of archers by surprise. Do as much uh, damage as you can before they regroup. So, okay. You'll need to kill enough of them to break the siege. Charge! So we got uh, two of the bandit archer elites here. Uh, they are pretty nasty because they uh, they apply poison when they they attack. T two shields on these tanky dudes. So let's see. Well, this is a good place to close off. But I think I want to start by closing off these two. Actually, can we force an ally to move? Attack four. Yeah, no. I just realized that um, If I had an ability which would let our ally uh, move, we would be able to position our crack heart for next turn avalanche as well, but uh, alas. Well, we can close this three in the first two turns, and then we only have two spaces. We can also place a stun trap here. To slow this thing here happening and then maybe we can close off these two after that yeah, sounds like a plan so we would have like well not three two places to launch attacks from we would also be able to go a bit backwards maybe i don't know this will be a bit weird i wonder how the archers will act in that kind of scenario uh, so for first turn they are uh, disarmed so we should probably go fast and use our bodies to close off so they can't block our uh, trap positioning well maybe I close off these two This turn. We also have an ability to move traps, to move the obstacles. Yeah, we can also use that to close things off. Uh, 
they are not really positioned nicely to start cursing. Um. So this one will go around, this archer might come a bit closer. This one will go like here. I'm thinking that uh, maybe if I go with uh, the Dirt Tornado and with uh, Wounding Song I can start making damage right away. But then I'll go pretty slow. So I'm not sure where I will be able to drop the trap so it's a bit risky. Probably not the best idea. Usually I go unstable upheaval to go first and then uh, well we do have earth already triggered so maybe we can use that to our advantage. Now we can do a crater to push the enemy out of the way and then land avalanche anyway. Yeah okay. Let's try it a bit different this time. And we got a fast movement for the next turn. We can use minus time and a push to get the avalanche back. So these two or these two, I still didn't decide. Then with you, I would like to play the Song of Wounding. So we put some wounds on them so they start bleeding, especially these three, which are pretty tanky. strengthen our allies also but what do we do with that strength uh, well it would be nice to put some damage on on the archers Also just immobilizing this dude here will help a lot with this situation here. And it will also um, wound it, so that's uh, good. But other than that, I don't know. I'm not really in range of anything. We are here. We can um, we can impaling spear this one and crippling bow something else. I don't know. This would put two wounds on. That's good. But then this one is in a bit of a weird spot. Well, we can use this to return the Quake Arts cards, I guess. But I also wanted to make a stun trap. I'll make, maybe I can do a stun shot and then a stun trap. When the enemy steps into the stun traps, they basically lose two turns to one they stepped in with and the next one but this is maybe not the best when they're uh, when they are disarmed anyway so maybe we do this next turn so maybe this turn we go here and do a really strong uh, attack on one of their archers or maybe we go after that them and land on stun shot, yeah. 
We need a stun shot on archers because they will do poisons next turn. Okay, let's try to do it like this. <laughs> Two, three, four. Yeah. So. Let's see. Move to range three, uh, deck three, range six poisons. Okay, they'll make some traps, right? Okay. Move, attack. Well, they're disarmed, so we get the free turn here. All right. Oh, really? They can make a trap there? That's a bit weird. In an adjacent empty hex closest to the enemy. So I guess the spawner is like an empty hex. Okay. Um, well, let's sing the voice of uh, the, the song of wounding. And let's uh, strengthen our uh, dudes here. Now we can also. Mm. Block. So move to. Yeah, but then. No, we need to stay here. I want to strengthen us. Skip movement, strengthen. Okay. Um, well, we don't need any of these for now, so let's not use the potion yet. Okay. Right. Well, we can do that. Wounded. And it will slowly die off. Mm. Well, we can put Avalanche here and here and push this one like way back and yeah since it will be immobilized from our uh, attack here it will maybe not be able to reach us sounds like a plan uh, so for next turn uh, maybe we want this one again Yeah, let's get the mobilized bank. Well, <laughs> and I click away. Okay. Uh, let's see. Well, here we said, well, there is nobody standing next to each other, so this is a bit of a waste. But we said we want to hit the archer. Stun ability. I would like to block this off. So if we block these two off and we create another avalanche here and then we can move it there, then we have only two spaces left. This one and through these traps here. And we can also block this one eventually. So Oh, actually, we'll be able, like this and this, as long as we don't move here. Yeah, let's block this off. We'll be a bit close to the edge. Well, we can also go here, I guess. No, let's go there to block this off. Okay. And we're gonna stun this archer. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna use any on this ability. There you go. Mm. Well, we get our stun back. That's not a bad idea.
Well, ink bomb is not also a bad idea. Let's get our stun back. Okay, um... Now, let's see. We push this one away from us. Here. So it's probably not in range next turn. And it's immobilized, so yeah, that would be cool. can't push it into the trap sadly but that's all right okay let's do it like that so next time we can create two more and start moving them so that will be good let's get our avalanche back uh, okay cool so now they actually start hitting at us so Let's see, this one spawned a melee, dude, that's good. This one spawned an archer, all right. So it's a bit crowded on this side here. This one is quite far away and this one spawned a melee. Okay, so we have it blocked here, that's cool. We probably want another avalanche and we probably want to also uh, move it. But where do we move it though? Well, we can move it here. I also think we need, we want to like do some nice damage here to try to kill off these two archers, so... Net shooter. Ink bomb is here though. We can return to cards to somebody. I'm just not sure how super useful that is right now. I probably prefer this. We can also do this one here. We can also shield ourselves. Um, well, stunning this one is also not bad, but we can't stun forever. We have to clean up this mess on this side sooner or later. There is another interesting choice here, though. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We could put the, the things we create here and here. So then we need to just block this dude here. And kill these ones. And whatever spawns here, we just attack that. Yeah. Well, there will be archers here and here, so I don't know. I'm not super happy about enemies spawning inside my, my fort here, but... Maybe if we put enough stones down... Oh, we could put stones here and here, then move... Okay, so let's block these two, and then start blocking leftwards from right side. And eventually this will have to start spawning enemies outside, so we can block ourselves like inside here, these three, four spaces. And everything spawns on this side and they start coming in through this narrow tunnel here, and hopefully that means not many archers can attack us at once. Well, I like that plan. Okay, so we need to kill these um, for this to kind of work. So, net shooter enhancement field. Uh, 
Uh, so this one will be wounded also. Oh, we didn't return that, okay. What else, what else? Um, well, I can move here and swing at the archer. I don't think I can pull them in such a way that uh, We can land free. Yeah, well. I probably want to shield here. And move here. Yeah, I can't move and shield. Uh, I don't like this one because it just doesn't work against two shields. Yeah, our quartermaster is a bit. Eh. Oh, we can refresh. We can refresh the the piercing bow on our. Uh, but we'll not use it. Well, we can refresh the goggles, I guess, after using this attack. Okay. So you, okay, you will do this and then create an obstacles and then maybe move them. Yeah, I we'll probably want to start moving them. We'll create more here later. Yeah, let's do this. So we return, so he can do it again next turn. So we do bam, bam, move one, and then again next turn, bam, bam, move one here. And that will close things up quite nicely. Here, uh, well, we want to prevent some damage, and we want to start cursing. Well, we could also bless two people, mm, so, so. Let's curse. Okay. Shield one, attack free, poison, okay. Bandit archer, move free, attack to immobilize, okay. Well, well let's prevent one source of damage. Let's do some curses. like these two to start bleeding also I didn't really do much to achieve that so next turn mm, I'll probably sing the song which removes the poison on the next turn so what we wound now we wound for a bit Turn singeing arrow. I think this will be our main uh, damage denial. Okay, I'm gonna get swinged here. Okay, we can prevent that. So this one will attack, and this one, no. this two will move towards here. No? Oh, they don't have a move, okay.
so here we go before our bodies so that the protect plant doesn't really work um well, i can do a model on this one i guess let's recover some cards Really? What in the world? Range 7? Alright. Well. I'm just glad this one will die in two turns. Okay. Um. I don't think we'll use this one to do damage. We want to close things off. So, not using the element, I guess. Well, it's gone anyway, so let's see. Uh, within range of four. One, two, three. Well, why can't we move it here? Why can't we move it here? Oh, I see. Move one adjacent single hack obstacle to end here with their one attack, two target lines. Well, I don't want to target enemies. So we have to put it next to an enemy. Mm. That's a bit annoying. Uh, a bit annoying well we can do that we're still full of holes in our fort here but uh, well at least these two are wounded now so I guess that's something um Use that. There we go. On these two. Now it's like that. There. Let's return those cards. Avalanche and clear the way. Okay, another archer there okay but these two are going to die in two turns all right i think we have to sink this one now so we start removing these poisons from ourselves whenever we start 
and then on the bottom oh, we can s we can uh, wound something oh it's not wounded yet oh that one is not actually we want to move well we don't need to he can move the boulder and then throw two more so we can wound something one two three well nothing is in range really um well we can do a curse i guess okay you one two three one two three four we can immobilize this doggy here So heal. We are going after the lullaby, so we should have poison on us. Okay, so let's start healing. You. Um. So we might get a chance. Well, he will come here, so we can close this off, probably. If we go slow enough. So, avalanche and uh, clear the way. Um, we can return the cards, so we get those back, I guess. Um, let's see. I'm looking at options to return those to the Craig Heart. He'll probably have to rest to get those back. But for now, maybe that's pretty well closed off. We can start to do some damage. Some more damage, anyway. Oh, we can do another stun. Toxic bolt. Stun is a nice way to uh, prevent some damage, but maybe we do that next turn. Killing these two would be nice. Oh, they will get one more attack off and then they will die, so maybe it's better to just tank that. Um, pool. Well, pulling this dude here will just straight up kill it. So then we cannot create the trap we need. Well, he will die anyway, properly, probably. Yeah, um, so we will not be able to do the thing anyway. So what do we do here? Got another trap once that one is sprung. Healed. Have some heals on the bottom. Well, kinda. If the lullaby works, then it will not really be important anyway. So this one will die in two turns, this one, this one. So this one is the only target I really want to target. But it's way too far away. Maybe if we go slow and stun it. I'm just worried it will be way out of range. Well, let's stun something. Okay. 
Okay, move five. Well, it would probably go like this. One. No, it has to focus him, right? So it has to come. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it has to come here. It will die, I think. Well. Uh, let's do that. All allies may firm a heal one action, right? Let's. Uh, now we can do a move. Why would we move here though? I don't know. I'm worried, worried to go there. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if we went here, it would attack us. Let's just stay where we are. Okay. So. Suicide? No. Oh. Right. <laughs> he found a way I didn't see. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so, yeah, let's remove the poison. Well, if we hit one of the archers, then they will. This is like another heal, basically. Because they will probably die when their turn. Or just die, yeah. Okay. So now this one. Okay. Okay, okay. Well, probably a proximity mine. Oh, we can actually take that, that's good. That's a strong swing. Okay. Well, all these traps came in handy, I guess. Attacking him. Oh, that makes sense, okay. He's all right still, right? Yeah. Well, we can stun the dog, so this is not usable anymore. Uh, well, that archer is gonna die, and that archer is gonna die, so we're gonna have one and whatever spawns. Um. Now we could stun this archer. That's good. And move. Back here. That's probably better to move here to block, but we don't have any more HP. So we have to use cards to block, but I need to secure my fortress or I'm done. Okay, uh, well, let's heal. Can move this 
one. So we can close now. That's good. Or we can also close here. damage well this one will die faster but this one will be on like <laughs> well, if I draw a plus one it will die so that maybe makes it worth it let's move our stones we are muddled however so yeah okay it's amazing this did anything really well two more So only two entrances now, kind of. Right. And this one will start spawning here, so we need more blockage. Um, well, we can do singing, Singing Arrow now. Maybe defensive deity. That deity. Now this one will die. Depending on fast, how fast it goes, it will both die and block off some stuff. Well, this one still needs some time to die. Well, we can probably stun this dude. So, we can also spawn here and here. We need more obstacles. Um, you, well, you should probably heal some people, right? Yeah. Another archer. Well, you can go there, maybe. Well, you can go here for sure, and you can go here. So these two plus whatever comes here and this one and this one How many curses do they have? Well, I hope they start missing soon Now we can do an attack of four on this one Are you muddled? You're muddled I oh, can disarm, that's good. I can disarm these two. It's kind of slow though, so short rest, I think. I don't think we're gonna be singing that. So, well, yeah, let's do defensive TT and then uh, disarm these two, hopefully, before the dog goes, even though that's not a given. So disarm, defense, well it will also defend us against this archer or this one, well this one is stunned though. Okay, um, now we need some heals. We can put a stun trap here once this archer dies, maybe. I don't know if that will work out, but... No, we can't because there will be. Uh, I can do attack 5 range 2 on the dog. Yeah, that would be good. So, heal and big attack. You 
Uh, you can stun, but maybe you don't need to. You can do two attacks of one. Attack, move, attack. Turn some cards. Aish. Shield and attack. Maybe. Um. So that would be it. These two will die now, that's good. So we have two archers shooting us. One. Uh, once we, these two die and we cover up these spaces here, we should be in better condition. But then we can't heal on the bottom. We have to use it to move. And you, oh, okay. Well, dogs go slow, that's good. Well, slower than us anyway. Um, so we can disarm this too. Him, then the dogs. Okay, this one will attack our tinker. Then it's you. You're last, and then these two go. Well, you could move here, and he could be invisible, and they're gonna start moving on the other side. So we close this off, maybe. That's good. Okay, no more archer elites. Okay, that one missed. That's amazing. And the other one. Ugh. Well, we are not giving cards to my allies, so let's do the stamina booster. Okay, we heal. Right. Uh, let's see. Now these two will not attack, and this one we can kill. Let's see. Move five. Uh, what's this elite? Well, you can't. There's a trap there, which is going to kill you. Okay. And this one is disarmed. Okay. So we could do a heal here. a bit more inside so the others tank for us because on this spot something will spawn anyway so let's make it spawn somewhere else okay heal Oh, 
we can move here I guess so you go there is that any better than the other way around uh, probably not 7 HP 8 HP mm. but you are ranged you should be here so you can shoot at the archers and stuff I'm not sure I want to make that hit well it's only one vitality so whatever Okay, you're gonna die, right? Yeah. You're disarmed. Cool. So, well, we got heal and move, and that's about it. Well, we could do a dirt tornado, though. That's not a horrible idea. I don't think there's a way to hit two archers, so... Uh, move... Well, we can still normally move here. We're losing out on a heal, but we are doing a lot of damage. We'll need damage eventually, anyway. Starting to do damage on this bandit archer will be good in the long run. Also, they are... It's muddled, so... That will be nice. Maybe draws that curse okay well, let's move here there we go okay cool so now whatever spawns here will go like I don't know Way up there, I hope. Yeah. So we got an archer here. What else? Well, we got only three archers. Really? This one didn't spawn anything then? This one spawned this one. This one spawned, I think, this one. Right. Um. Well, I would like to make some more boulders. Uh, we do have quite a few though. The thing is, is, if I short rest here, I have a good chance of losing one of these two. Well, if if the first card is not, which is like a bit more than 50%, then on the next one, it's like 25%, so maybe not. We need this one to die though. Yeah, we need more, uh, more avalanche here. And we still have two entrances, oh my. Okay, let's see. Uh, you could do a curse, that's good. Um, well, we don't have any more archer elites, so poison is maybe not such a bad thing anymore. So we could switch to making wounds on them again. But healing once per turn for one, it's nice because we are a bit bad shape, bad shape. Um, How do we close this off? I need, we need, I think we need more uh, boulders. Well, maybe not this turn, maybe next turn. Maybe I can do a long rest here. And next turn do another boulder combo.
a bit hard situation. Once we manage to plug this hole though, it will be better, but... If we move here, we open another spot for summoning though. Well, we got attack free range free, but this dog is on our face. Well, you need to kill it. Free damage. Two, maybe so re we remove the hound and next turn we go super fast and land a rock here <laughs> Also, short rest here to get some healing. Uh, so let's see. Well, stun shot is as good as healing, I guess. See how this turns out. Mm. Ink bomb. No. Probably stun shot, yeah. I can do a toxic bolt if you want to. Let's we'll see. Let's do it like that. Uh. Okay. Four attack free, okay. Move free, attack free range four, and then he goes, and then move attack strengthen. Okay, well, it's probably best to be stun this one here. damage what's the archer's damage like uh, three and dogs three so this is the best stun target yeah if you'll do it that would be great okay and now these So you're attacking twice here. I have something spawning here next turn. Uh, yeah, I can't pick that up because then I have two empty spaces. Let's just keep movement here. Okay. Good. So that model came in handy. Cool. Let's heal. Um. I 
probably need a heal again. Maybe mobilize. Shield? Shield and heal? Okay. This one move here, I guess. Building a fort is hard job. At least they are not throwing daggers at me. If they would get that, that would be insane. Um, there is no one standing in a triangle formation. That's annoying. Well. We should probably kill this one. This should spawn here. Uh, yeah, let's try to do that. Oh, I should have cursed first. I'm so blind. So blind. Okay, well, it's an archer, so that's not ideal, but... So this one dies in what? Two turns. Okay. Well, we can do our clear the way avalanche combo again. So we move this one like here and then drop two more here. It's five out of sixteen. <laughs> uh, well, we probably well, we said what? Shield and heal? Okay. Problem is this forty three is kind of slow, so well we can do a flamethrower on this three from here. Seven, you go forty three, seventy five. Mm. Oh, 
Well, if we move this one here and somewhere kill with this one, we can drop to here. We could also go slow. Yeah, we can go slow. We can go ink, ink bomb flamethrower. deep now though so priority should be killing this one here so what if we let this one bleed once more and then next turn we do avalanche of avalanche after it bleeds out that might work. Let's see. Um, if we go like fast here, we can go here. What do we gain with that? Well, basically, what I want to do here is I want to make a massive boulder, maybe. Or dirt tornado, even. So I go here, he goes there, mm. well, we could close this off. Then we could stand here, 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 and here. That's like so, so. We could move this boulder here. And we have two entrances basically, but our tinker is a bit in a nasty spot. Can you go faster than that? No, not really. Well, maybe you could do a heal and move one of the obstacles, but ah, no, let's not do move this turn. Let's this turn, let's uh. Let's go fast and muddle bunch of enemies. Yeah, okay. Uh, you, well, you're gonna shield us up, all right. You want to go fast. Go here and do, well, we said we're not gonna do the flamethrower, right? Well, you could buy us a room here, one, two, three, four. somebody okay and you you can bless us I guess well, we could do Attack one, range four. Ok, 
Okay, they don't do anything. That's good. That's really good. So what we did do a tornado, okay. Well, there's an archer there, we can do a tornado and uh, there's an archer here we can do a tornado. Now this one will not What's the range anyway? Four. Well, hit three enemies here no we won't well we're there they're just doing brutality so i don't need to muddle them right um well let's do this one here oh well, that's good to damage an archer oh we could have done this one and i just now noticed now could reposition here and put our tinkerer here. Next turn, this one dies. We do an avalanche here, but then we are not staying next to any of these. We could also go there and put our tinkerer here. This trap will spawn here, I guess. I think, let's stay maybe. Oh yeah, we said we put a put tinker there. Okay, maybe trap spawns there. That would be cool, I guess. Um, Yeah, let's skip movement here. Ah, oh, this is so hard. But I feel like just a little bit more, if I can close all this off, I'll be totally fine. just need to bleed some enemies and hold out long enough well three of them are still bleeding so that's basically eight halfway done good thing is I don't think they have heal well maybe they do I just didn't How many times <laughs> do we listen to these animations though? It's kind of insane. <clears throat> but what can you do? It's better they do that than they move and attack, that's for sure. More? Alright, this too. Right, um... Question is, should we start playing the wound song again? need it eventually right but then I'm gonna stop healing I think we still need some healing songs well you can go there and you can go here then you have another space here to close off and then we're pushing through here, I don't even know anymore. Probably not. Let's bless.
Priority is killing the archers. Remember that. Priority is killing the archers. Okay. Now this one healed really. It does add up. Free healing per turn. Passive effect. So we can go here and heal somebody. Uh, that was the plan, right? We're gonna heal ourselves here. So, well, <laughs> everything went before him. Well, that's interesting. We have nothing to attack. Yeah, let's heal. Um, So now the question is, do we move? If we move here, we might spawn something here. Uh, well, no, let's just do that. Okay. So we said like, avalanche and clear the way so this one will die and then we move this boulder somewhere and drop two more here so we spawned a wolf this oh, another archer okay um hum well maybe this is not a clear away turn where do we drop this here maybe yeah so we drop this one here and create two more like this. Yeah, and they damage the wolf, that's good. Here we can't really do much. Okay. You uh Are you doing a full long rest turn here? I don't know. Yeah, we can one, two, three, go for that archer. Well, that's good if you go before archers, which I doubt, but you never know. Um, you should probably short rest. Um, yeah. Oof. I don't think I want to lose the disarm. And then again, let's see if we do a defensive DT here plus uh, curse. That's probably a good idea, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, you you do a ranged attack, right? Yeah. You do your thing, and you well. This is not interesting. Let's long rest. Okay, cool, they go before, no ranged attacks on these ones here, well, immobilize, okay. Okay, we can do a curse. Oh, that's good. Defensive DT. So whatever this dog does will be prevented. There we go, nice. Some archery shenanigans. Yeah, they have quite a few curses in their decks actually. Yeah. So it's finally starting to pay off. All these empty, empty moves we had, which did nothing. Well, in theory, free curses is like free healing. That's pretty insane. 
let's see, so this one dies now. Ooh, no, no, this will not work. This one will die and then he will get the replacement. Alright. Forget about that one. Oh, five damage. Um Oh, we are so so on cards. Who else goes? Oh, that should be it. Oh, that's another elite card. Ugh. It's kind of hard to pull that off what I wanted. It was just not uh, well planned. Archer to worry about. Two more incoming. Okay. Fun times. Heal. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Here. What does that even do? Nothing. Well, I need to do that. Kind of. Yeah. I think we took way too long to do the fourth and but let's see we still didn't lose insane amounts of things but it's not looking good round eight um Another archer there. Well, at least he didn't spawn anything here. That's good. I'm not happy with how things are looking right now. We need to put wounds back on the menu. Massive boulder and archer, yeah, okay. Shield, heal, short rest. That's uh, so so actually. This could be useful. But we'll do an ink bomb here. Uh, not sure where yet. Nothing standing in a triangle, but well, these two probably. Yeah, one, two, three, four, yeah, okay. Let's go fast. Just a model, that's all right. Okay, uh, yeah, let's start wounding. I can probably kill eight enemies in this situation. Uh, shield. Well, that does nothing actually. Well, let's heal you. 
What do they do? Sink heart, okay. Yeah, let's uh, see. Yeah, these two archers are like a prime uh, target. If I can target what I want. Well, I can wait what? One, two, three. Oh, it's a range three. Okay. Um. Well, then maybe. Well, this is an archer also. Well, we could target these two, I guess. This one is already wounded. So, two more wounded people. That's three. Eleven. Five more somewhere, somehow. Okay. So now we just go off full of damage, I'm not gonna try to make any more fortress, I think. Yeah, we're running out of curses though. Well, that's good. A natural miss. Well, one, two, three, four. We have five enemies bleeding. Yeah, it should be fine. This arm. Yeah, plus one. Yeah, that's good. Uh, you. I could also do a short rest here just to have cards to burn. So let's do it. Uh, we have some HP. Mm. Let's see, what do you do? Uh, you should probably do a short rest. Okay, that's alright. So defensive ditty and another set of curses, right? You. Uh, well, you can do a ranged attack. Or maybe this one even. Oh, shield. Shield and then we'll see. Uh, you. Well, these are all burning up. Well, you can stun your nemesis here so you're not dying to him. Or maybe this, we'll see. You. Mm, no, this is the decision. Well, I'll we'll prevent one damage. Let's see, this archer is still shooting, and this one is. Uh, and two more. I think I'll do a short rest here just to be on the same safe side. That's alright. Uh, so forceful storm with an um, extra push to it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do defensive ditty. And let's do some more cursing. Oh, this 
guys are standing nicely. Uh, what's the range on that? Three? Ah, okay. None of it will happen. Alright. Well. Oh, this one is like me. Okay, well now I should probably kill this archer, right? Yeah. I don't know if the net does anything here, but why not? Okay, defensive the D. Okay. Ah, uh, stun. Probably. So, four more turns until this one bleeds out. And we could stun this one, but no, he will not bleed out, right? So let's see, archers didn't go yet. Attack for range 5. Well, if we kill this one, uh, we're not in range. Okay. What about this one? That's one less attack. Uh, let's heal here. This two will bleed out, so it's a waste. Okay. Let's heal. I mean heal, not heal, but you know, heal by not receiving damage from this dude. Okay. You, well, you can do a disarm. Can you disarm this tool up here? What's the range? Three, one, two, three. No, not really. Uh, okay, well, we can disarm that one. But my main goal here is to like bleed some enemies which are not bleeding yet. So, oh my god, my eyes. These two. Wait, is this one bleeding? Undo. Well, he's not bleeding. But then we only hit him. Yeah, no, let's... Uh, do this too. Start bleeding. This one we maybe kill normally, we'll see. Uh, okay. Right, so I think we have enough bleeding targets now. Now we just need to hold out. Plenty of cards for holding out as well. <laughs> what a mess. What a mess. Look at all those traps, all those enemies, all those obstacles. Well, this is a siege mission, so it should look like that, right? These are our, uh, these are our siege machinery. Our barricades preventing us, the archers from shooting us from the towers. Yeah. What are they doing? No, they are attacking, so this one will attack if he didn't already. Oh, he did? I didn't notice it. Okay. Oh, the archers. Alright. Oh, 
Well, this he's almost dead, so... And the game's like here, take another archer. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh... Right. So, this archer will die, this archer will die, this one will die in three turns, this one will die in four turns. This one will die in five turns. Yeah, I don't know. Two turns, three turns. So that's two. One, two. That's ten. Six more. One, two, three, four, five. Ech. We'll be pretty close. Um. Oh, we can do a dirt tornado. We don't have a proper element though. <laughs> I guess at this point we're just trying to stay alive. Density again. Strengthen my allies. Yeah, that's all right. This is insane. Ooh, it went before my defensivity. for this one I didn't want to see that like at all oh that's good what's the range on that too okay This one come like all the way up here. Uh, let's see. Oh, this one will die now. This one will die in two turns. This one will die next turn, this one in two turns, this one will die now. So these two I need to speed up. Well, I have just a thing, I think. There we go. Oh, this one. Okay. Oh, it's better than nothing, right? Cool. Well, these two have still have some HP. Ooh, they're attacking multiple targets. Okay, that one dies. That one almost dies. Uh, we need 
to burn something. Okay. Right, um, so six more. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Five it in two turns. Okay, so we need to survive two more rounds, more or less. Mm. They have no curses left in the deck though, so that's something. Uh, probably a heal, right? <laughs> Shield. Okay. Well. Now let's do a short rest here. Uh, that was probably a bad idea, actually. Okay. Yeah, it would be better to do a long rest. Never mind. Um. Uh, let's shield and heal and you shield glass okay oh that's good cool uh hound all right so we have to survive this round and then one more and that's it and also hit something, I think, in between those. Archers to attack. Well, that's all right. We have ten. So I think our quartermaster will probably be the last one standing. Actually, okay, five more. Next turn. So it's one, two, uh, yeah, three, four, at least four, and then I don't have a fifth one. Crippling bow, so next turn I can do some extra damage, I think. To him, maybe. Oh, that's good. Oh, I said there will be 30 enemies on the screen. Four, six. We didn't come to that. Well, there's not 30 hexes, I think, actually. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're fine, I think. Okay. Uh... Come on, leave my suit saying girl alone. Right. Um Our last song. Okay, well, you actually came to your turn, that's nice. Um, so let's see here. Well, thing is, all of these are dying anyway. These two are dying, and this one is dying, so that's free. And I need two more. Oh, well, this one is. So I need to swing this one. No matter how strange that sounds. Uh, let's see what I have in my deck. Well, two, four, five. So one and six we actually miss with this. So that's not ideal. Could speed this one up a bit, maybe. We can take that retaliate. Yeah, let's uh, let's try to start with this one here. Oh wait, we can push it into an obstacle. Never mind. That's a guaranteed kill. Okay. So now. Four more enemies which are bleeding out unless they heal, but I would see a heal by now if there was one. Um, let's do a short rest here so we ca have cards to burn. There we go. And let's do a shield and a heal, and you can do a long rest. Okay. So, shield. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, we can move. Um, what's that? Four gold? Uh, I don't want to risk it for four gold. Um, I'll heal myself, actually. I'm the only one shielded, so. Okay, now we watch them die. Quartermaster leading the siege. Let's see. Two more. Yeah, I hope everything lines up correctly or else. I'll be a bit messed up. Oh no. Rally, don't let them get their way. Come on, you need to die. There we go. One more. Doggy. Ah, what the fight though. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> Why doesn't this prevent the damage though? Oh, it has pierce. 
Oh, do I need to use it then? I do, even though it does nothing. Okay. Wow, that's intense. And there it goes. The last defender falls. They're like, oh no, we lost so many. We lost so many and we have our reinforcements coming or whatever. And they're like, retreat, retreat. Victory, strange victory, but that's uh, what this mission is all about. Phew, that was a major battle, but the siege on the bridge is now lifted. We are almost at the coast. Whew, loot no gold piles. Yeah, okay. We didn't do much looting in this mission. Most enemies just uh, spawned and didn't drop uh, anything. Oof. Oh. That was a nail biter. We would die in the next round, so yeah. But one round is a lot of times, so. Nasitra is known for its beautiful jewelry, so if Sort some magical moon earrings you might find helpful. Magical moon earrings, you say. During a turn, refresh all of your spent items. Well, that's interesting. Probably better than the minor power potion. Okay, what about our uh, trainer buddy here? Ooh, we got some people killed, so we unlocked a new class. That's nice. It seems someone has noticed you may need some help staying alive, yeah? The saw bones is now available to add via the character menu. Okay, we gain a perk point on our suit singer. Um, Right, right, right. Let's see our new class here. Uh, the Sawbones. Oh, well, that looks nasty. Health 8, ability cards 11, well, 10. Okay, difficulty low. It's easy to play. Roll, healer, healer. Followers of the Oak are religious healers who do... Well, that's our second human, I think. Uh, followers of the Oak are religious healers who do their best to ward off the pestilence and deaths that can manifest in larger human cities. Contrary to popular belief, however, there is nothing miraculous about their healing methods, as anyone who has come to them with a gangrenous leg knows all too well. Well, alright. The mystique of the profession can get lost among the screams when the subons has to hack off a limp. Oh, that sounds a bit gruesome. Strengths, amazingly efficient healer, has a number of decent melee attacks. Medical packs also increase uh, like card counts. Well, I like that. Weaknesses, very poor ranged attacks, weaker in parties with less allies or ones with lower max health. Okay. For a doctor, doesn't have a great understanding of medical cleanliness. Right, right, right. Let's see the cards, shall we? First aid, give one adjacent ally one medical pack ability card. Okay, what's a medical medical pack ability card? We can't see here. It's probably card which heals. This also slows down people getting ex exhausted, so that's good. Move four. Hand of a surgeon. Attack four. All your heal actions this round affect you and all adjacent allies. Well, that's nice. Distant stable card. Hold back the pain. Heal free range one. All your melee attack this round target all adjacent enemies. Okay, booster shot. Heal four range one. Place this card in one adjacent allies active area and treat it as if they own the card. Place this card in one adjacent allies active area and treat it as if. So we just give them the card, I guess. Bloody Saw, attack free wound, loot one. Okay, curative mixture, heal free range one, remove all negative condition on the heal target. Move free, remove all negative condition on one just ally. Syringe, shield two, target one just ally mercenary. Well, this is nice. If we have a tank which is taking all the damage, we shield it. Allied mercenary, why? Attack one, poison stun. 
attack one, poison stun, okay. Battlefield Medicine. Give one adjacent ally one large medical pack ability card, but this one is burned, so I think I'll stick to these small ones, whatever they are. Aura, you and all allies are immune to all negative conditions this round. Interesting. Triage. Once during each of your next four turns, perform well. I'm not a huge fan of this kind of cards. Almost never use them. Nice move though. Mobile response. At the start of each of your turns, remove one negative condition from one of your allies. Move five wound target to look just then as well. Burn, burn. Probably not. Unless we are doing a mission where we only have limited amount of turns, then these burn cards are strong. Prevention is key. Disarm. Target all adjacent enemies. I like it. Shield 1. Aura. Affect self and all adjacent allies. That's just a base shield. That's good. Teamwork. You and all adjacent allies may recover an amount of discarded cards up to the number of allies adjacent to you. So if we are in the middle of 3 people, we can all return recover free cards. That's alright, I guess. Nothing so special. All adjacent allies may perform a move 2 action and move 2. Oh, okay. Well, that lets us like. Uh, I like this one. Yeah, this is really good together with Crack Heart to get my fort going. Vaccine, attack one, range free, poison. Okay. P poison in a triangle, that's cool. Play this card in one adjacent active ability area. Okay. Well, this one is a bit eh. Well, first of all, let's move this one out because it's two two burns, and let's put this uh, movement thing, which I really like at the start to make the fort. And uh, well, I'm not sure this is super useful, so let's get the triangle poison. Oh, this is also good. Prevention is the key, let's see. Yeah, I don't like this, this is weird. Okay, cool, so we can try our saw bones out now. Maybe we do this uh, this mission next with like a saw bones and uh, suit singer. I guess suit singer has to go with us, yeah. And well, maybe another new class and maybe our brute, which is like a staple. But we'll fix the party uh, in the next video. Well, okay, so now we did um, we did Nasitra and this unlocked Relic Hunters. Okay, so this is just a continuation of the story. We'll probably do this one first. But uh, we'll do a job next and uh, or the or the, 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 the story mission. I'll probably do the, the story for our suit singer. But yeah, we did the siege, it was pretty intense, but we managed to win in the end, so I like it. So, see you in the next episode. Uh, thank you for watching and have a lovely day.